Hey hello guys and welcome to my new video. Today I want to show you how to fix the GPS problems on Chinese smartphones. I have here the Fighting A9500 which has serious GPS problems so that means sometimes I can't even get a GPS fix which is really bad and in this video I will show you how to get rid of this. So um, first you need to consider are your um, GPS problems hardware related or are they software related? I will just show you in this video how to fix software related GPS problems. Software related means that you just need to um, add some files or mod some files to, uh, to get GPS running and hardware related means that you have a fucked up antenna in the smartphone. I don't know why Chinese engineers can't design um, good antennas. I don't really know why. Um, sorry. Because um, I opened this smartphone and this is really a hardware related GPS problem because um, in there there is an antenna and this antenna had a very loose connection and it wasn't even a real antenna because um, it only um, grounded the antenna signal to the metal frame of the um, smartphone and this results in a very bad signal. Okay, then I will show you now what you can do against those software related um, GPS problems. So first you need to go to settings. Settings are this um, gear here, so just um, press on there. Then you go to location and access. And here make sure that those two boxes are ticked. The first one is access to my location and the second one is Wi-Fi and mobile network location. Um, the next thing you do is activate the GPS satellites and then click on there. And here you should see GPS EPRO assistance. This must be ticked. And you also should see a GPS. This box should also be ticked. Then you click on EPRO settings. And here you can um, tick the box which is called auto download. So what are EPRO files? EPRO files are basically files which tell the um, GPS chip where the satellites are not, uh, currently at this month because they get monthly updated and they tell the GPS um, chip in the phone where the, where the satellites are. Okay, then if you want to download them, you just need to have to click on download here. Then it should start downloading the EPRO files. So now I'll show you how to install the EPRO files manually if the first method hasn't worked for you. The first step you need to do is connect the phone to your computer and activate USB storage. So you can see the storage of your phone onto your computer here. And then you open up any web browser and go to ftpepo.mediatek.com. Just hit the enter button, wait for it to load. This can take very long to load because this FTP server is a little bit slow. Then um, you take the username epo underline alps, copy this and also um, insert it for the password and press logon. And here you have the epo file so you can, can, uh, you can just download them by right clicking, clicking them and press save target as and save them anywhere, I don't know, on your desktop. Save. Then you can close the browser, um, copy those two EPRO files and insert them, add your phone storage to data and miscellaneous. So you should have them in there. As you can see, I already have them in there because the download worked for me. So you can just drag and drop them in, replace them, anything you want to. And you're done. Okay, for the next steps you need to make sure that your device is rooted because the apps will download to um, fix the GPS require root access. So without root you can't do this, so make sure that your device is rooted and then you go to the Play Store and the first app you're searching for is Mobile Uncle Tools and download the app which is called Mobile Uncle MTK Tools. So the next app we will download is the Root Explorer or Root Browser just look up for this and then download this app here which is called root browser and the last app we need is faster gps or faster fix you can download any of them i prefer faster gps and make sure to download this app here okay so then we will go to the app faster gps and open it up and here we change the continent to the continent you're living so for me it's europe and you could also change the um, country to the country you're living, so for me it's Austria. Then it should say GPS config was successfully um, written. 
and then you should see that the GPS server, current server, he has changed to at.pool.ntp.org for me. Depending on your country, it looks a little bit different. Okay, the next thing we will do is open up the root browser. And here, um, make sure that you always grant those apps um, root access if it asks you to. And here in internal storage, you look up for data. And in data, you look up for the misc, the miscellaneous folder here, open it up. And here you should see a file called mtk.mtkgps.dat. Just click on this and hold it and then delete this file. So you should also see in this folder the EPO files if you have downloaded and installed them correctly. And yes. Then we go back with the home button and now we open up the um, MT uh, Mobile Uncle Tools MTK toolbox. And after you've opened it up it should look like this here. Here you go to engineer mode and in engineer mode you go to MTK. Then you um, swipe to the right and go to location-based service. Here make sure um, at HGPS that HGPS is on, that this box is ticked here, then go to EPO and also make sure that it says enable EPO and auto download and if the download has failed before you could also try um, downloading it here by clicking on this EPO idle here, then it should start downloading. So sometimes uh, only this works here for some phones, I don't know why but you should see progress 0, 25, 50, 100, EPO file successfully installed. Okay, then you can swipe to the right on the top until you come to MISC and here you choose YGPS. Now you are in YGPS and now you just need to go outside and um, leave your phone alone for at least 15 or 20 minutes and wait for it until it finds a fix. So you should see here bars coming up and those bars are um, those bars will um, slightly turn green and then they get solid green and sometimes um, and then it should say um, GPS fix found. And yes, um, you could also try to go to the information tab and do a full cold and a GPS restart and after you've done this You, can, you don't see this because the HGPS is restarting and it restarts the full GPS and you should leave this alone for at least 20 uh, minutes um, outside. And also make sure that you're not between high-rise buildings and that you have a clean view to the air so that it can successfully search for satellites. And after you find the fix just um, close this app here by pressing the home button. And then you can use um, any GPS app you want to, like GPS status or um, navigation or something. And this should work if your antenna is not fucked up like on this phone. So in the next video I will show you how to open up those phones and fix the antenna. So you just need some soldiering skills. I don't really like those methods by just um, gluing some aluminium foil onto the antenna or something. I think this um, looks really bad, but I will show you in the next videos how to fix the antenna in a professional way. Okay, that was my video on how to fix the um, GPS on those Chinese smartphones. I hope this was helpful for you, for you all and um, if it was helpful please leave a like and a positive feedback and thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.